Hello, everybody. Glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, brothers. Hello, sisters in Christ. I hope that you all had a great weekend so far. I hope that your week is doing well up until now. I'm so happy to see you guys. And of course, I'm always honored to be your sister in Christ. And I thank you all for coming to hear what thus say of the Lord. So people of God, I'm not going to hold you. This is a very quick prophetic word. This word comes from a situation that I encountered in my own personal life this week. It's not going to be for all of you, but it will be for some of you. This is a forewarning. God is saying to check the contents. Check the contents because God is saying that some of you have seen or, or you're going to see something that originally looks authentic but then something is going to come up to to lead you to believe that something is not quite right and so god is going to be getting you to test it to test the spirit to go back and to recheck it to reevaluate it to make sure that it is what it's supposed to be or they are who they say they are but before we get into the word on today people of god let's pray and ask the Father to be with us. Dear Heavenly Father, dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come to you humbly and hungry for the word of God. Father God, we just love you. We understand that you are our source. You are the Alpha, the Omega, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. And Father God, we thank you for being our shepherd, our master, our protector, our teacher, our everything. Father God, we thank you for waking us up out of our beds today. We thank you for dispatching the angels to surround us, to protect us and our families. We thank you, Lord God, for an opportunity to be taught, to learn from you, Lord God, and to take those things and apply them to our lives. Father, we are just so honored that you love us more than we love ourselves. We thank you, Lord, that you take the time to teach us and to show us those things that we need to do to stay in righteousness and holiness. Father God, not my will, but yours. And I ask, Lord God, that you will only use me to speak to your children as what's on your heart and not my own. Father, we just thank you for this warning. We thank you for this knowledge. We thank you for this wisdom that you are bestowing on us. We ask, Lord God, that you open up our hearts and minds to receive it and to utilize it in our lives according to your will and glory for our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray amen god is saying that there will be tests of authenticity in this season there will be tests of originality there will be tests of integrity hallelujah there will be tests of honesty in this season god is saying to test to check the contents beware this is a warning to check the content so let me tell you what this is guys i take a supplement and I'm not going to show you what it is, but this is the bottle right here. And I ordered these supplements. I started taking these supplements about six months ago, I would say. And I've been doing fantastic. No side effects. And it does what it says it's going to do. Well, I just recently ordered two bottles of these and I ordered them from a third party vendor. So when I got them in the mail, I just took them out of the box and I put them up, right? So when I got ready to take my first supplement out of this bottle right here, which was about three days ago, I noticed that the capsule size of this bottle, it just seemed like it was bigger than what my previous bottle was but I didn't think anything of it and I took the supplement and I felt good I felt okay then the next day I took the supplement again I take these in the morning and so the second day I started feeling like I don't know a little bit of cramping but nothing you know too strenuous and so I thought hmm well what did I eat that day and the only thing that I could think that I could have eaten or taken in my body that day were these supplements. This is a new bottle, right? So something led me to just check these pills. And so I went back and looked at the pills again. And I thought, Lord, uh, these pills do look a little bit bigger. Now, mind you, this labeling on it is just like the original label. Nothing seems off about it. It has the expiration date, it has the supplemental facts. So something told me to go online and check the pill size of these supplements. So I went online and I checked the pill size, hallelujah. And I took the pill out of the bottle and I compared it to the pill that I saw online. And when I looked at it, it appeared to be the correct size. I looked around the pill to make sure that the, the capsules were the same, the coloring was the same and everything looked the same. 
And so I put the pill back in the bottle and I said, well, Lord, I'm going to give this to you on today. I'm not going to take any more of these supplements until you tell me to do otherwise. And so I put the pills back up. And uh, this morning I woke up, I heard the Holy Spirit say, go get that bottle. So I went back and got the bottle out of my cabinet, guys. Long story short, God told me to, he said, I want you to look at the bottle. And I just started looking at the bottle and it has the supplement facts on it. It has the expiration date on it and, you know, where it comes from, the side effects, the ingredients and all that stuff. Right, guys. And so as I was looking at the supplement facts, Jesus, I started seeing these numbers in the grams and the MCGs and all of a sudden scriptures, Jesus, verses started popping up on the bottle. And so I said, Lord, why am I looking at the supplement facts? I did check the pill size. I'm just waiting on you to tell me whether I can take these. And so God said, you may proceed in in my spirit. He said, you may proceed, but I need you to speak to your brothers and sisters about checking the contents. Hallelujah. I need for you to speak to your brothers and sisters about checking the ingredients. I need for you to tell your brothers and sisters that they need to be testing the spirit and making sure that they are dealing with someone that is authentic. Make sure that they are taking a supplement that is authentic, hallelujah, to make sure that they are in a relationship that is real, to make sure that they are in a situation that is for them. God says to check the contents, hallelujah. And so guys, as I'm looking at this bottle, the scriptures were coming up off of the numbers on here. And let me tell you how amazing God is. 2424 is on this bottle. If you go to the book of Matthew, hallelujah, chapter 24, verses 24, it says, for false Christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. People of God, that is straight revelation from the Father himself. God was telling me on this pill bottle to make sure that you check the content. Make sure that you are checking the ingredients. Make sure that you are checking the source. Make sure you are testing the spirit because there are false prophets that are arising and they are deceiving even the elect. The second set of numbers that God gave me was 217. When I saw 217 on this bottle, the first thing that I thought to go to, this is what the Holy Spirit led me to do, to go to 2 Kings. When I got to 2 Kings, I did some research and I found 2 Kings chapter 17, verses 10 through 12. And it says, they set up for themselves sacred pillars and wooden images on every high hill and under every green tree. There they burned incense on all the high places like the nations whom the Lord had carried away before them. And they did wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger for they serve idols of which the Lord said to them, you shall not do this thing. And then on the bottom part of this bottle, people of God, listen to what I'm saying. I saw a 2 two ten. Jesus. And I began to ask God to show me 2 to 10. He brought me to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 10. And it says, and with all unrighteousness, deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. People of God, if you pay attention to the concept of these verses, these verses pretty much indicate counterfeit. God is telling us and warning us about the counterfeit. It shows us what we're supposed to be looking for and what we will see. In these last days, people of God, we have got to be careful. And it's not that you guys don't know this. It's not like we don't know what the word of God says. It's not like we don't hear other ministries and pastors and prophets and teachers and apostles teaching this, but this needs to be reiterated. Let me tell you why, because many of us are being deceived, people of God. It's not even just with the false prophets that the scripture is saying, but it's even in your daily living people of God, these pills, God was showing me in the spirit that there are even counterfeit supplements. There are counterfeit items that we need to be paying attention for. God showed me medicines. He showed me prescriptions in the spirit. He says, child of God, tell them to pay attention to their prescriptions. Some people are taking things that are not prescribed to them, even though the the, the bottle says that that's what it is. Even though the, the doctor says that that's what it is. Hallelujah. Even though when you got it in the mail and you took it out of the box, 
it showed you that that's what it was. But God is saying that there are counterfeits. Hallelujah. And we need to be careful about the things that we're taking. There is somebody that is watching this video where you have not been feeling well lately. I don't know who you are. Woman of God man of God. You have not been feeling well. And I hear God saying to check the supplements that you're taking. Check the medication that you are taking. Check the expiration date. Check the brand. Make sure that it is the correct brand. Check and make sure that you're taking the right doses. God is saying that there is a counterfeit happening in your life and that is what's causing you to feel bad. It's what's causing you to feel ill. I also hear counterfeit bills in these last days we have people that are counterfeiting money pay attention to your dollar bills your 20s and your 10s God was showing me 10s God is saying that there are counterfeit bills this is not new but it's highly prevalent in these last days God is saying to go back through your cash check your cash take your money to the bank and have the banker check the authenticity of your bills hallelujah God is saying that some of you are in uh, counterfeit relationships you're in a relationship with someone that is not your spouse you're in a relationship with someone that does not have your best interest at heart. You're in a relationship with someone that is uh, plotting behind you. They're, they're gossiping about you. They're, they're setting up a plan to deceive you. God is saying to reevaluate your relationships in this hour. There are many that are counterfeit. They are not originals. God is saying that many of you belong to churches. You're following ministries where the pastors and the preachers and the teachers are counterfeit. They are not living the lifestyles that they are teaching you. They're, they're telling you to do this. They're warning you to do that. But if you were to go behind closed doors in their lifestyles, you will find out that they are living the opposite of what they teach. They are living the opposite of what they preach. God is saying that now is the time for you to test the content, test the spirit, check the content. This is a forewarning. God is saying that counterfeits are on high alert in every area of our lives and our money in our daily living, in our nutrition, in our health, hallelujah, spiritually and in our churches and in the body of Christ and in our relationships. God is saying that he is not calling you to be suspicious because he wants you to trust that he has you. But at the same time, God is saying that we need to be awake. We need to be aware. And when we get that small, still voice, people of God, this is what the Lord will do for us in these times to help us determine these counterfeits that small little voice, that question, that second look at the situation, and you're like, hmm, or wow, or something don't seem right. God says that it is in those instances where he is, he's prompting you spiritually to check it. He's prompting you spiritually to test it. Hallelujah. To go back and look at it again. Hallelujah. God is saying that this is a forewarning people of God. This is a very high alert area in the spiritual realm during this time. God is saying to check the contents. Something that you saw, something that you've seen, or something that you will see, it's going to look authentic, but it's not going to be really authentic. Why? Because you're going to have this utterance in your spirit. You're going to have this, this pushing in your spirit, uh, wanting you to test it again, wanting you to look at it again, wanting you to um, rearrange it again. And God is saying that it will not necessarily be false. It will not necessarily be a counterfeit, but he's going to be using these experiences in our lives to, to push us to strive for holiness, to strive for righteousness, to check those things, to be aware, okay? Because we do have people that are around us that are deceptive. We are taking things that are deceptive. We are in relationships that are deceptive. And God does not want us to be caught off guard. He wants us to be aware. And in those situations where you're just not sure, child of God, the Lord says just to come to him. The Lord wants you to come to him and ask him, test it, and he will tell you what it is that you need to do. Okay, people of God. So that is the word for today. God is saying this is a forewarning. Check the contents. Check the contents. Test, test the spirit. Hallelujah. Reevaluate, reexamine. Go back and look at it again. Okay. So I love you guys. I want you to be blessed.
remember we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus holy name guys prophetic teaching is coming up soon I'm going to be teaching on various prophetic ministries part one we're going to be talking about the prophetic ministry of writing I am so excited to bring that to you all and I hope that you all will be able to join me sometime this week we're going to release that okay guys you're going to know about it because we're going to put the alert out on the channel love you guys I'm up out of here Bye.